Hi, I'm going to present today uh, Felix Platter Hospital, the winner of Building Smart International Award 2016 for the category Operation and Maintenance Using Open Technology. First of all, I would like to thank you for this um, award and thank you for having me. Actually, I was not able to to be with you today on Korea in Korea, so I sent you this um, small video about the project. My name is Samir Alzir. I am the BIM manager in the company uh, BAM Deutschland. And um, here is my contact information. If you need any information, um, please don't hesitate to contact me. The agenda will be as follow. Um, Royal BAM Group at a glance, Felix Platter Spital or Hospital, the BIM uses in this project Open BIM standards, IFC, PCF, and BIM to FM through IFC. And at the end, uh, digital as built documentation through hyperlinks. About uh, Royal BAM Group, we are uh, a very well known company in uh, Europe. Uh, head office is in Bunich, Netherlands, um, with uh, approximately 21,500 employees. We are located in um, Holland, in Belgium, Ireland, UK, um, Germany, Switzerland, and um, we have one uh, company called uh, BAM International, which is um, located um, all, all around the world, depending on the location of project. Our core business is construction, um, civil engineering, property, and uh, PPP projects. About our BIM researches and activities, uh, we are also participating into a number of um, BIM activities uh, in Europe. Uh, one of them is INCOR, uh, the European Network Construction Companies for Research and Development, the 5D initiative, the energy efficient embedded and holistic and optimized life cycle integration support for energy efficient building design and construction. Um, those researches on development um, developments are mainly concentrating on the um, green building and energy efficient buildings through um, BIM. Some of our BIM projects in uh, Germany and Switzerland, we have the project winner, uh, the, the winner project today, Felix Platter Hospital, um, fire stations in Leverkusen, um, the, Stuttgart, uh, uh, the Stuttgart Hospital, the House uh, der Zukunft or House of the Future in Berlin, hotels, um, universities, and um, Frankfurt uh, Hospital as well. So uh, we are uh, a specialist more in um, hospitals and uh, complex projects, as you can see. About our winner project today, Felix Platter Hospital. It's a hospital in Switzerland, in uh, Basel city. The gross floor area is around uh, 45,000 uh, square meter. Contract value is 150 million Swiss francs. Construction period is um, from 2015 to, to 2018. It is a um, design and build contract, uh, starting with a competition. Um, here you can see the, the project team. It was mainly a joint venture between uh, BAM Swiss, BAM Deutschland, and uh, Marty, uh, general contractor. Um, Felix Platter Spital and the uses of BIM. The uses of BIM in this project um, were quite a lot. As you can see, we, start, we started with BIM um, from the uh, design and development, um, uh, development design phase uh, to the construction phase. And later on, the client will continue his operational phase also with BIM. Um, <clears throat> so you can see here that our BIM uses is uh, defined um, according to this um, criteria. Uh, gather, we gather the information, we generate the BIM models, we analyze the BIM models, 
Then we communicate the BIM models and at the end we realize and we construct the building. So uh, mainly our BIM uses was um, 3D coordination and clash detection, cost estimation, time estimation, life cycle cost estimation, code validation, energy analysis, structural analysis, etc. Of course, 3D visualization. And uh, today I'm going to focus on two of our BIM uses, which is the Open BIM standards, IFC, BCF, and um, BIM to FM, or transforming the BIM, transforming the BIM model from the design and construction phase to the FM phase through IFC, and the digital as-built documentation through hyperlinks. So, a quick um, overview of the phases and use of the phases of this project. Uh, the first and second phase were the competition phases where um, a couple or uh, a number of candidates were applying and trying to get this project. In the second phase, the number of candidates uh, were reduced to four. And at the end of phase two, we won this project. So we continued uh, this project also uh, with BIM. Uh, from the detailed design but you can see we started already with our BIM activities from the first phase already uh, the formats uh, for the communication of uh, models was IFC starting from the beginning phases and under the operation the BIM checker used uh, by the facility by the BIM manager uh, was Solibri and the BIM to FM process starts uh, in the construction phase, which means um, there is no cut to, uh, between the construction and operation phase. The collecting of the facility management information starts already in the construction phase. The Open BIM standards PCF. We use the PCF, which is a BIM communication format for uh, communicating the issues or the collisions, the clashes for this project. We also used uh, the online platform, which is called BIM Collab. It's an online platform where you can synchronize your issues directly from the BIM checker, from Solibri, and uh, the issues will be saved um, in this online platform. Um, this online platform can be accessed by all project participants. They can see the, the collisions and the problems. The good thing here that the collisions um, stays uh, like history, saved, they cannot be deleted. So you can always uh, have an archive over the project um, planning phase and, and construction phase, of, of course. The disciplinary designer can uh, download the issues or the PCF file from this BIM collab. He can uh, check the problems, he can solve the problems, add some comments, link, uh, link the, the objects again and synchronize the BCF again with, with, with BIM collab and uh, the BIM manager will or BIM coordinator will download the new BCF again into Solibri and so on. Now the BIM to FM process through Open Technology IFC. Um, this is the initial concept of how our um, information system should look should look like. Um, of course, um, the architectural uh, company was using uh, here Nemechek Alplan. The structural designer uh, was using also Nemechek Alplan. The MEP uh, services uh, designer we're using um, Plancal, which is a Trempel company. The, the BIM were checked in Sulipri. Uh, the Austausch or the communication format was um, IFC. As you can see here, the blue arrow is IFC. The red arrow is the PCF uh, uh, data. And um, <clears throat> here, in order to um, connect our BIM model with the um, CFM system, 
uh, we created this concept, uh, which is um, having a container of the BIM models. This is the graphical information, the IFC models, um, database, which is containing the alphanumerical, alphanumerical informations, which is the attributes saved in the, in the database. Of course, uh, the idea that uh, we don't save all of the attributes and all of the a parameter in, in the BIM model. Uh, we link them to the BIM model uh, through a database. And we have a documentation management system which contains the documents, the plans, and the as-built documents and PDFs later on. So these uh, three areas should be integrated and communicated. And for the construction side, we need a construction information management system where we can manage the construction phase um, uh, through uh, the iPads or tablets. Uh, important here to see the, the arrows and the direction of the arrows. Um, the, CIF, the CIFM system, the CAFM system should communicate with our BIM container. Um, be directional, which means uh, it should be able to read the parameters and it should be able to add some parameters. It should be able to, to read our graphic, to read our BIM model. Of course, the CAFM system cannot change the, the BIM model. And it should be able to read our documents and uh, again, add some new uh, documents or edit the documents and write them again back in our BIM container. The current situation of uh, the IT information system uh, looks like this. Uh, we decided to uh, use Prevera as a plugin connected to Navisworks. Prevera is an online um, database where we can add some additional parameters to the IFC models and then save the IFC models with those additional information. This is a big innovation. Usually uh, you cannot uh, change IFCs or you cannot edit IFCs, um, but for the construction side, in order to add some as-built information to the IFCs, we will be using Prevera to do that. Of course, the graphical information cannot be changed. The graphical information will be saved in Navisworks. So Navisworks will be our administration tool to administrate the BIM model. We decided that documents, the documentation management system will be, will be saved or stored in the CIFM system and not in our container. But of course, the, docu the documents will be mirrored in our container. So whatever changes here should automatically change here and whatever changes here should be also uh, bi-directionally changed in our container. For the construction information management system, we are using Autodesk 360 with, is, with its two components, glue and field. And we manage uh, to keep um, the advantage of the uh, bi-directional uh, communication between the CAFM system and our PIM platform. Another innovation for, uh, for this project is the digital as-built documentation through hyperlinks. Usually, uh, the documentation is done by the hard copies, collecting the hard copies at the end of the construction phase. Those hard copies are difficult to gather, edit, and update. The storage space is an issue, and they vanishes through project phases. Using a digital documentation, um, uh, these documentations can be accessed easily online from any device. Documentation can be retrieved from mobile devices, easy to edit and update, and they are ideal for facility managers. As a case study to show you how this can work, imagine that a facility manager is holding his iPad in, in the project and he clicks at a window so he becomes, uh, uh, he, he sees immediately the, the attributes and information of this window. One of those parameters is called hyperlinks. He 
here we add one parameter which is the link to this window and this link takes you directly to something called Swiss BIM library Swiss BIM library is an open library open platform where all manufacturers can add uh, their 3d elements with a full documentation of these elements so we don't have to gather any um, hard copy of documentation we just have to deliver this uh, small link in the BIM model which is collect which is connected to each um, element and if you click at, at this window you can see here the description of this window the manufacturer description types you can see um, the um, media and downloads regarding this element which exa for example the plans you can download the plans the catalogs the certificates the technical specifications and so on you can even see the other variants of this object if you need to to install a new object um, you can see what what uh, the manufacturer has produced um, from the same type or other types from this um, window I hope you enjoyed uh, this presentation thank you for your attention and thanks again for the price